Hello and welcome to my February haul video. So I just have a couple of packages here to start out the February haul. I have notification on a ton of other stuff that is coming, subscriptions, and then the TPC sale starts tomorrow. So you can kind of figure out when I'm starting to film all this stuff. So I am going to have a few orders coming from the TPC sale as well. So I'm going to start with, um, let me put, I've got my Sensi With box and I've got um, Itty Bitty Sticker Co. So I'm going to set this off to the side and we're going to open up Itty Bitty Sticker Co. first. I had ordered um, a couple of kits during the last sale that I was not in, but I still ordered stuff. And so cute. Oh my gosh, this vision board. This is adorable. Okay, so let me pull all my stuff out. Take out my, <laughs> my receipt and pull these guys out. Okay, so here are the freebies. So I adulted today. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. <laughs> Tanya and her kitty. Megan. This is fine. I love that. This is fine. Oh, I needed that the other day when I was installing a toilet. These are cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love those. And then a little thank you so much. And then this is from the sticker patch. Then let's get into this. So this one here is a vision board and it is adorable. This is one whole sticker. So this would be really, really good, like on one of the big um, divider pages in my planner. So that's probably exactly where this is gonna go. And then I ordered this, isn't this the cutest thing ever? I love this kit, love this kit. Every single one of these little cats here are fantastic. Look at Pink Panther. Cat in the Hat, I love all of them. Garfield, so, so fantastic. Tom from Tom and Jerry, just love it. Sylvester. So I ordered this kit as much as could come with it. I always get every every everything that I can get. So here's all of your date covers, glitter. And then I picked up, I wish I could remember what I picked up. I believe this is a birth. This is the hold on. Happy birthday, Molly mini kit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what I ordered. Um, the happy birthday, Molly mini kit. And I think this one I picked up to use for my actual birthday in March in one of the planners because I've got two that I use pretty pretty much constantly, and then my journaling. So. There's all of those. So that is what I picked up this time from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I'm not sure what I'm picking up from the TPC sale yet because I haven't really done my shopping yet, but hopefully um, I'll have some more to show you in a little bit. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and we will get into the with box, which I need to kind of open it off camera. I'll just open this part just because the address label is right on the top. See, but there, there we go. Make sure that you're in camera. Look at this. So, what is this? Make connections. These are pretty. They're the wax, the small ones that go in the in the wall with the. You can put the wax melts on top. I like those. It must be so. Maybe it's something new. I don't know. Anyway, let's put that off to the. Oh my God! No, there's one in here. Oh <laughs> my. I'm so excited. Oh, I love this. I love this whiff box. Whitney, that's who my that's who my dealer is. Whitney, she is fantastic. She got me into this and now oh, I'm in love. So this one is called Clementine Cupcake and I can't smell it. I think it's for like a car one or a closet. Ooh, this one might be nice in the closet. I can't smell it though. I'm a little bit worried because once you open them, I think they kind of lose their, they lose their scent kind of fast. Oh, that's nice. It's a sweet citrus. So Clementine, kind of makes sense, cupcake. Clementine cupcake is a very sweet citrusy. Oh, it smells good. Mm, I like that. I don't think I'd put it in with my clothes though. But um, where would I put this? Maybe in a bathroom? Like you could hang it up in the bathroom near the toilet somewhere. All right, there's that. What else is in here? Connections. Oh, this is their book for, oh, look at how stinking adorable that is. I'm not going to go through this book. I just happened to open it to that page, but this is their um, spring and summer catalog. 
And then there's not a ton of stuff in here, but I think that's because you get this right here, which these are kind of expensive to buy from Scentsy. Um, I have one other, no, two other uh, warmers, like the big warmers from Scentsy. And normally I can't really afford it, but here comes the light bulb. This is the part that goes in the wall. Oh, but there's, what's this? What's this? The ring. The part that goes in the wall. So that must be the replacement ring for this. And make sure there's nothing on there I need to look at. And then here's the cup. Oh, this is pretty. Let's open it. This is so pretty. So you put your little wax melts up here in the top and then it attaches like this, right? I'm not gonna, I don't know. I need to, oh, I see, turn it. So it goes in the wall, there. Makes sense now. And then you put your wax melts in the top. This is so pretty. Oh, I like that. I'm very excited for that. Directions on how to use it. This month's scent, so this is Shoreline Drive. And I have no idea what that even, I can't even give you like an idea of what that is. It's got a butterfly on top and I'm going to flip it over and see. It's a clean scent for sure. Looks like ocean. So it says cupcake, strawberry, floral, citrus, but I don't smell any of that. I smell almost like a laundry scent. Like a really clean but not potent at all. Very subtle, very, very subtle. Not bad, I do like it, not bad at all. Um, let's try this one. This one is called Sunburst Bamboo. This is the scent of the month. This is just a scent. If it's got this little thing on it, it's the scent of the month, so you're trying out something brand new. Oh. That one took a second to hit me, but then once it did, it is delicious. Oh my gosh, sunburst bamboo. Like you don't hit, it doesn't hit you right away when you smell it, but when you, mm, it's almost like a cucumbery lime. Oh, it smells delicious. I think these are all the same on the bottom. I don't think this has anything to do with what's actually in it. I wish there was a description. Actually, there probably is in the book but not on the actual like, container itself. I would have to go and look up in the book to tell you what the scent is. Because these all look the same on the bottom. I thought maybe this was like a little guide to tell you what was in it, but it is not for sure. These are exactly the same. So I can't tell you what's in this, but it smells fantastic. Like I said, it's kind of, oh my God, it's like a cucumber. I don't know. Mm, I love it though. Love it. That's good. And then what's these? Washer whiffs. Oh, so these are for the washing machine. I'm not going to open them because once you open them, then it makes a mess everywhere if you don't have something to put them in. But this one is Cloudberry Dreams. And I can tell you they're both Cloudberry Dreams. The last one that I got from them, and it was in that like uh, jar I used a few times, and it made the clothes smell really good so they work really well um they're not for cleaning it's you just add it to it with your um laundry detergent i believe because this isn't in the same packaging as the other one so i'm gonna have to look it up on how you use these but i'm pretty sure that you just add them to so this is good to use with like towels blankets sheets stuff like that comforters. I wouldn't use this in my clothes every day, everyday clothes, because there's a, a little dryer thing that I got that is fantastic. I love that little dryer thing. I need to order some more of those. But this one says raspberry rose, peach and vanilla. I have no idea what that word is. Rosa. To, uh, oh, that's the same. It's just in another language. Duh. <laughs> raspberry rose, peach and vanilla. So these ones are probably going to be really good for like springtime. So I will give those a try and maybe let you know. So that's it for this part of the haul, and I will be back soon with the rest of stuff. Hey, so welcome back to the next part of the haul. So for this part, I've got only two shops. I've got my Some Little Things subscription order and my Coco Daisy. So since Coco Daisy takes a while, I'll do that one second. And we're going to start off with Some Little Things. 
And this month's, um, I changed it up. So I have the premium subscription now and it is fantastic. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Hang on. This one, make sure you can see because it's so stinking cute. So this one is like got a Disney theme to it and I absolutely love it. I've already opened everything up so I could swatch out the washi for you so you didn't have to watch me struggle. But I'll show them to you like this. So these are the three washies that came in the premium subscription. And oh, look at how stinking beautiful these are. Love, 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 love. I'm very excited to use this kit. I almost want to use it like right now. So I love this. So I'll show you it swatched out though. So you can see it a little bit better in all. Look at how stinking cute that is. And it's gold foiled. You can see the foiling. I just love this. This is my favorite so far. Harry Potter is close second. Okay, so it comes with this little um, pouch here. And in the pouch, I need to pick up the binder because I don't think I have the binder to this, but I do need to get one. But it's got like three three holes here. And since I get the premium subscription, I think that this is what comes each month, but I'm not sure. So this month you get a washi stand, which is perfect because I need another one. I've already filled up the, how many have I got? <laughs> one, two, three. I've already filled up the four of them that I have so I'm super excited to have another one and I love this so there's a pocket in the back that holds this stuff and then look at the pouch look at that it's so perfect I love this little pouch right here I wish I had um, something that I could put it in to take with me um, when I go to work because I would totally like fill this and put my four by sixes and my little two by threes in here it would be perfect but I don't I don't have anything to put that in but that doesn't mean I won't find something I definitely will be on the hunt actually no this isn't oh uh, this isn't the washi stand there is a washi stand on the website I think I'm going to jump on right after I film this and pick it up so um this is a whiteboard so like if you were maybe taking a trip to Disney or to anywhere, you can do it anywhere. You could write down like a, your countdown. You can put whatever little notes on here you want. I'm not gonna do it right now, but it it is got the film over the top, so it looks kind of um, faded. But once you pull the film off, I just forgot to bring my. Ooh, this side has the <laughs> this side has the holographic on it, and this side doesn't. I don't know which one I like better. I like the holographic side better. Um, you can like write on it and then wipe it off. Maybe a little note to yourself, whatever you want. Put it on your desk. Super super cute. There's that. Then you get papers. So this side is the blue. The inside is like that salmon-y color. And then another one with the salmon-y color and the blue. So you get two of these, which make really cute dashboards. And then in here, let's go through all of the stuff. So here's your washi sheet. I have it upside down castle in the back okay so it's the street lights with this really cute like floral arrangement and then the castle is in the back and then we'll go through here is this little foiled like little mini icons i love this little pretzel right here mm. then let's go through the kit so here's the kit so this is your foiled sheets there should be eight of them Nighttime and daytime. Oh, it's really pretty. I like that. Then you've got your checklists and your dividers and your weekend banner. Numbers, days of the week. These are all foiled and beautiful. And then here's all your non-foiled sheets, which is just like your dividers and your flags. And then these, there's four sheets with your checklists and your half boxes. And you probably should get it a little bit. I was so busy showing you the foil, I didn't realize how close I was. And this one, and this one. So this is the, the premium subscription. I changed it from two of the regular subscription because I was sharing it with my daughter. Um, but she hasn't really been doing anything with, with planning. So um, I switched it over to the premium, which is actually cheaper than two of the regulars for me. So next up, we're going to open Coco Daisy. <sighs> I gotta back out a little bit because there's always a lot in here and there I don't want to have to get that close to show you everything that's in here so here we go 
I actually saw some sneaks, but now I can't even remember what it is because I'm still stuck in the beginning of February. It's like February is running away without me and I can't catch up. Oh, Cactus Moon. This one is Cactus Moon. That's right. So here is your little card to show you what the kind of the theme is. It's real pretty dark blue in the background. It's really pretty. And then this one is just a little what what inspiration was from. Then this one, I think this is one of those tracker cards for referring a friend so that you can get the discount, which you guys know if you drop my name, if you do start a description and you drop my name, we both get $10 towards um, stuff that we want. And it comes in really handy when she does like the one-off boxes that you have to like the Christmas and the Valentine's Day and whatnot. You can use the coupon codes for that. So there's that. And then in here... I'm just going to pull everything out because I never know how it's packaged, like which is which. So I'm going to take everything out and put the box off to the side. It's a very pretty theme this month. I'm not a huge cactus fan, just like I'm not a huge floral fan. But, you know, Coco Daisy, that's the memory keeping. Coco Daisy's florals are just like one of the very few that I'm like, yes, yes, please. And I'm okay with it. So this is the main planner kit. So I'm going to guess that's the add-on kit. And then I've got the classified and the two sticker sheets. So we'll start with the main planner kit. Let's see what's in here this month. Come on. Ooh. Oh, the gems in this pen are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wait till you see these. Look at those gems. Well, let's see. Um, kind of need something behind it so that you can see it. But maybe on my hand. Can you see that? Look at those gems. They are beautiful. Now you can read my lifeline. Oh, I love that. And it's just like this white barrel with a pearl sheen over it. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Got your daisy on top. Well, there's this month's pen. Then, Washi Struggle. I, I was able to do it for some little things, but this one I hadn't opened up. And I probably won't roll these out. Only because it'll take me forever. But I'll bring them up so you can see them. It's a really pretty floral. And it's got the cactus. So it's, I'm assuming... The florals are like part of the cactus, the kind that, that have flowers on them. Makes sense, right? There's that one. Um, the note, so the sticky notes. This one just says jot it down. It's a nice thick stack of sticky notes. Then this month, oh, this is cute. We get a pin, not pin, clip, silver, and it has, aw, look at that little, little cactus in there, and it's got the green and the white, and just like, almost like a hollow um, bead in there, really pretty with the little cactus in there. Then, oh, we got a pen holder. I like these because not all of my uh, traveler's notebooks they don't all come with a pen loop. So this is a nice, pretty pen loop to go in there. I'll save that for a minute. This one has your the little bags, always have your extra pen refills, your pen test sheet, and your stamping ink sheet, and then your notepad. That really pretty background on it. It's a thick notepad. I have like a bajillion of those notepads. Um, I'm going to go with the paper first. Ooh, nope, we'll go with this first. These are edgers. So what I do with them, I don't edge my pages. I just don't. I cut them in half and I use them as a decorative border, which you can totally do. It's super easy to do. Just a pair of scissors and snip them right down the middle. But if you wanted to, you would, in, if you wanted to edge your page, you could pinch them together and just run them right down the edge of a page. And these are glitter. Very, very sparkly and pretty. Now we'll do the paper. That one snuck out of the back. Okay, so we got to find our cover for our dory. This is a real plain, pretty plain, and sometimes I like something plain like this or like this if I'm going to use one of the journaling cards on top, but we'll see. This is nice and plain as well. Geometric patterns. Love this. Ooh. Now, if I wasn't going to put any of the 
like decorate the cover other than this this would be a really pretty one right here actually the, I think I like this one better for the front but it wouldn't work out that way now would it <laughs> because other, I'd have to open my book this way but I might I would cover up that moon I don't like the moon to be honest I'm not a fan of the way the moon looks in there it looks like kind of out of place but um yeah anyway there's that and then ooh, this one's really pretty I think I found my winner that one it's got all the succulents on it and it's this pretty pastel color and then something plain on the inside this one for sure for sure that one is going to cover the outside of this so this is the dory this is the one that comes in so you can pick if you haven't already heard my spiel a hundred times, you can pick your inserts. I pick a Traveler's Notebook Dory insert because this is what I generally use for all of this stuff is my Traveler's Notebook size um, cover. I've got probably like five or six of them over there. And this one is going to be the navy blue. So I have a navy blue one, so that's what I'm going to use for this month. And then inside here, this is all decorated to go with your kit. And it's got like pages in the middle for you to make lists or whatever notes do some um if you don't have like uh the memory keeping kit you can use the middle pages and the back pages for memory keeping if you don't want to do like a whole kit you've got plenty of space really really pretty spots in here for memory keeping and then it goes back into the actual planning and each one of these can be you can either plan horizontally or vertically i do a line down the middle and i plan or, and i plan in here vertically so that's what this looks like and each page will match and then when you get to the back you've got a really pretty spread right here if you wanted to do something here and then the back page just is real pretty decorated and then like I said I use this right here covers my book so I just fold these in and then that's my book right there and then that slides right into my traveler's notebook um, cover there's that and then we have only got a couple more things that came in the main kit. Here's your stickers. Again, the stickers. This is why I have the add-on stickers because I showed you um, in previous things what I use these for. These I use for my daily journaling in my TPC planner. And so I need a lot of stickers for that because I've got seven days to spread these out for and it's a daily planner. So here are, it's a little pretty deco sheet. Then you've got some alphabets numbers and like your half quarter and three quarter boxes. This you can use to cover, recover one in here. You'll see that there's a bunch in here. So if one of these patterns you don't like, you can recover it or you can use it as a standalone if you don't need it to be super thick. More numbers, more days of the week. So if you wanted to use this in a different, like different setup, we've got some whole reinforcers here. These go over your tabs and then your little icons down at the bottom, which I always use. So that is the stickers that come in the main planner kit, which is why I get these. Because otherwise I wouldn't have enough stickers to do the daily journaling. But if you don't want to do daily journaling, it's also not enough stickers even for me for my Dory. Because I sticker up every day. Every day. So let's take these out and see what's in this pack. So these are a little bit thicker than stickers, regular stickers, but they are still stickers. But the paper is a little, little bit thicker. So you've got a whole bunch of the succulents in here. Then these are your tabs, which are super pretty. This one's got purple. There's all your tabs. <laughs> we get a glance. More tabs. More succulents. More tabs. I really like spring cleaning. That's nice. The month ahead. My spring cleaning this year is going to start with my garage. We bought a whole new set of tools and a toolbox, and now we got to go through all that nonsense and fix it. But there's that. So I guess I could plan about that. Now I'm going to do the sticker sheets because that way it kind of ties into the main kit. So if you wanted to do like add-on for a sticker sheet only, this is the kind of ones that you can choose from. They have a happy planner version. They have a hobo pert version. They have a whole bunch of them. This one is the add-on sticker sheet, which is just like standard vertical. Tons of deco. I love these. These are really nice little quote boxes that go really well in the daily journaling. 
Here are your odd shapes, which I always, I always, always, always use odd shapes. Let me back it off so you can see the whole page. And then a letters uh, alphabet sheet. And then this is vellum. So there's always like a quote section of vellum and then some vellum washi at the bottom. So that's the add-on stickers. So see Daisy add-on sticker kit. Then this one is the regular. So this is the classic, not classic, just planner. Just says planner sticker kit. That's it. But it fits like standard vertical. Here's your dots. This has been coming in every month and I love it because I use them. I use them on like more than just my daisy spreads. I keep all of these in my little extra book and I use them with all of my kits, like even stuff that's not Coco Daisy. So here's all of your full boxes and some washi strips at the bottom. It's very pretty, hello March. Here's all your check boxes and your little things at the bottom. To do's, today's checklists, more deco half boxes, quarter boxes, trackers. These are really cute too. And I love how it's on that, that really pretty blue background. But there's, and I love the font, date night, get it done. This is really cute. I never use those. I should track my coffee though. I say that all the time. I think I'm gonna do it one of these times. Oh, I love these little emos on here. And then this is one of my favorite sheets because I like those weird shaped boxes. And so I like having like, this kind of stuff with the remember today to do goals a little bit more deco love these little flags and then your other vellum sheet these are all washi and then these are paint swatches and they're all vellum so that is the planner sticker kit so if you wanted to add on that would be a good one to add on next i'm going to do the planner add-on so this one I always get it just because um, I, I don't know. I always get more washi. You always get a lot of a lot of extra stuff in here, and this washi is really pretty. It's got kind of very like tribal feel to it. My aunt would love this kit. She's a Southwest style. Like her her whole house is all Southwest. This is very pretty. And ooh. This is one of those rubber, the rubber ones, so it's a rubber clip on a paper clip, and it's a succulent. So I think, cute for decorating. I'll do that later. You get a stamp set. Ooh, this is cute. <laughs> not doing this, not doing that. Have to do this. Don't mess this up, heck yeah. And then a tracker. This is really cute. This is a handy stamp set. Then you've got your this is uh, really good for keeping all of your stuff in, and I love this white. I don't think I have a white one. I have a ton of these, and I use them all the time. So this is nice, and you can keep all this stuff fits inside of here. All your stickers, all your stuff fit really nicely inside of those. I'm going to do this one this time. Put it in here with this one. So... This is more um, of the same thick, but it's stickers. And there's like your weekend banners in this one. And then there's a lot more deco. And some of these like where you can write something down here at the bottom. Here's your weekend banner. And then this little guy right here, if you fold it in half and you put it on the end of a paper clip, it makes like a little clip. For you to like a little flag and then the last four there's that this has a very southwest feel to me like i said my aunt would love it this is right up her alley this is nice so these are your i want to say two by three <laughs> two by three cards and then this is your swatches. Great for shopping. Here's all of your little, like St. Patty's Day is on here. Things for appointments, daylight savings, stuff for you to put in your planner to remember. And then here are some more succulents, more days of the week, more alphabet and numbers. This is the numbers that I use. And then your four by six card. This is really pretty, really pretty. This one's actually pretty enough to put in a little frame and have it in here for like spring decorating that off to the side so now this is the memory keeping kit and in the memory keeping kit it also comes with a lot of stuff 
So um, in my traveler's notebook cover, I the front is my planner and then behind it is my memory keeper, but totally fell off the wagon, have not been doing it at all. So what I've been doing since none of this stuff is dated, I've been saving it and then I'll go back and, you know, when I change things up, which I do like quite often, when I finish my um, journal, the TPC journal, I'm going to stop that one and I'm going to go back to this. So I'm going to save these kits for when I want to do some um, later on. So this is the washi. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but the daily journal and the TPC thing is only four months. So I think I want to go back to just ordering the regular, you know, 12 month planner where I have just the weeks in there and then go back to the daily journaling in my Dory. I just really like the way it's set up better that way. So here's March. These are just little tags. These are great for layering with your memory keeping photos and stuff. Then we have another one of the stickers, but this one I'm going to put in a different bowl. This has like a lot of little sayings that are good for your memory keeping stuff. Little flags with sayings on them, so another thing that's really good for layering. But I'll bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. Well, maybe not. I just don't feel like zooming. This is pretty. I love that one. And then like these things like currently you've got labels, little things with date. What's this? Today's rating. That's funny. Food rating. Simple things. Staying in. Little food thing. <laughs> There's a lot of food in this one. Um, I like these little ones like this. Just another beautiful day. I guess some tabs, note, pretty fly for a cacti. That's funny. This right here. And then you've got a bunch of these brilliant this and that. What's this one say? It's too far away from my go with the flow, happiness, going out. Spring is here. This one says a lot. There's a little tag. Every now and then something wonderful like this happens. That's cute. Very tiny to read, but cute. Another stamp set. Hold that thought high. It's the little things feeling a little prickly. And then there's some edgers here. I like this one with the pluses, a corner, and then a couple of like label. Here's your glitter dots for this month. Beautiful as always. Okay, now we'll get into this part. So this is your uh, memory keeping book just has paper and blanks in it. You're not gonna see, ooh, that's nice. See, so you can decorate and write and decorate and write and decorate and write however you like, totally matching the kit. These always come, and like I said before, these fit. You can either do your cover or you can put them on the inside and have a ready, ready-made, pop a picture in the middle, write whatever it is you're gonna do. So you've got this one. This one, this is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Everyday Moments is the last one. We'll bring it down there, sorry. Get too close all the time. Puffy letters in this really pretty blue. It doesn't seem like a blue that really matches, but it's pretty. And then let's do this here is the layout, like the vision layout. So giving you like how to. Like if you wanted to set up a page like that, and then a sketch. So that comes in every month. And then your papers for this one, these are half sheets. And you get two of each, flip it over. And so six patterns, there they are. Very pretty. And then last but not least, we're gonna do the classified. So this is always like in this little classified bag so that you can't see it. If you haven't seen this yet and you don't want to see the classified part, this is where you need to step out and then come back in just a minute or so. Um, because this is usually like the surprise thing. However, you can see it on the website if you choose to. So here we go. Ready, set, go. Oh, Simon. <laughs> Looking sharp. 
Look at how stinking adorable he is. I love my Simon. Adorable. So the pin this time, I can't read that. Believe in your dreams. Here's a smaller washi. I'm not going to undo it. But this is like the skinnier washi. And it's got like an arrow type pattern on it. And then you've got a pocket. So here's a little pocket. Then this one is the days of the week that I like. These like funny like days of the week. And there's a whole page of them. This always works out really well for my daily journaling. I love those. Some more deco. You've got some little... I don't know what you call these fabric things. <laughs> they look really cute in the planner. And then you have your acetate, which looks like that. And your vellum is green, and it looks like that. And that is everything that came in my Coco Daisy box and my some little things. And I will be back again for the next part of the haul. Okay, for this next part of the haul, I just have a couple of things here. There's a couple of non-planner related things that I'll share with you in a second. Put those off to the side. I've got my Planner with Manny and my Sugar and Sloth. So we're going to start with Planner with Manny. So I've, these I picked up in the last EPC sale. And here we go. She is super fast with her shipping. How cute is that? So here is your journaling card and then I get my my receipt out and then I will share with you the tips that I picked up. So the TBC sale this time the theme was um, game night so I picked up uh, a couple of so she did a couple of game ones and that's what I picked up. So I'm going to share with you first these little guys that I picked up. How cute is this? A little die cut. So I needed I told you I was going to get the planning with Manny um, mail time ones. So these are the little mail trucks and the little letters. Super, super cute. And then this one has more like happy mail type stuff. So this is the happy mail deco. Love this. Oh, these guys are so stinking cute. So those I have for marking stuff like today. Then this one is called Manopoly. So since it was game themed, you get Owen. I love the way that she packages. It's just so so stinking cute. So Monopoly is obviously Monopoly themed. So here is a little die cut. <laughs> that is so cute. And then you've got all of your smaller sheets. So here are like the little paint swatches, some deco. I love that. These are so cute. I have no idea when I would use these and I don't even care. I'll put them anywhere. I just think they're so stinking adorable. Sometimes I just pick stuff up and I don't even know why. This is cute, just visiting. That is so cute. I don't know anybody in jail, but it might be a good one if you do. This one is so cute. Oh my gosh. Just visiting, go to jail, failure, get back and try again. This brings back nothing but like, not happy memories, but memories. <laughs> like my mom was ruthless, ruthless when it came to Monopoly. And so playing with her wasn't always fun, but I do still love the game. I still love that fact that we actually got to play games like this together when I was growing up. And then here we've got the Pac-Man one. So pac man which is also adorable. Her little ribbon. Isn't that adorable? I say adorable a lot when I talk about planning with Manny. Here is a die cut. <laughs> That's cute. And then the paint swatches, dividers, echo. I like these. Those are cute. And then your full boxes and your date covers. And then this one's going to be hard for me to find washi to go with because of the bright colors. I'm going to try really hard, go through all of my washi stash, but I guarantee you I do not have anything bright and rainbowy like this. So this one's going to be hard for me to find washi to go with it, but I don't care. I had to have it. And then you've got your second page. It also may be hard for me to find extra boxes to go with this. Usually I go with um, Amanda with the Avalon and Ninth. 
and I think this one's going to be a hard one to find uh, the functionals to go with it. Well, here is sugar and sloth, so we'll move on to this one next. Let me open it. So this one, ugh, I'm making a mess. Hold on. This table, ever since I set up my new office, this table is not as big. So <laughs> I don't have as much like space to spread out everywhere. So let me open this guy. I don't even remember the theme because I don't think I saw any sneaks for the sugar and sloth this month. But it's always cute, so it doesn't matter. Here's my After Dark pin. Okay. Mm. okay, there's always like confetti in here, which is cute but messy. Let's get all these guys. Oh my gosh, there's so much of it in here. Oh boy. And then these guys out. There's those. Okay, now let's put this off to the side. That is going to be a, a mess. Okay, super cute. The darkness will fade away soon. Till then, let's appreciate this beautiful moon. <laughs> the butt. Look at the butt. I love that. That is so stinking cute. It's a postcard. And then this is your monthly. I never know what to do with them, but I have absolutely no desire to get rid of them. So they just kind of stack up. But aren't they adorable? If I ever figure out what to do with them, they don't have, like, you know, you could set this up any way you want. Uh, what's in here besides a whole lot more confetti? Oh my gosh, so much confetti. Ugh. <laughs> Anita, you're killing me. Okay, so here's your sticker. Fairies believe in you. Aw, he's cute. There's another one for my printer. You got a pen. Writing stories is kind of magic, is a kind of magic. Oh gosh, get out of there. And just a little clicky pen. Ooh, look. I just noticed that. Whoa! <laughs> There's a highlighter on the other side. That I have to go find. That's cute. I don't think the other one came with a highlighter, so that's neat. Let me put that off to the side so I can go find the cover. It shot clear across to the uh, closet. Yeah, that's way over there. All right. Let's go with this guy right here. It's a little notebook. Believing in... Believing in even the possibility of happy endings is a very powerful thing. And this is just a little blank notebook with confetti in it. Ugh. I swear, <laughs> this is going to be such a mess to clean up. Little blank notebook. And here's your, so this is Folklore Foxes. And then your little note from Anita. Okay, let's get to the pins, which is why I subscribe to this box because I love the pins. So this one has like a little, I don't even know what that is. Some type of bird, maybe a pelican. And inside is oh, a little wizard fox. Oh my gosh, I love him. He is stinking adorable. There's my little wizard fox. Goes up on my pin board. And then the after dark one, which is always either sweary or snarky. And this one is, I do not know what that means. Belend? I don't know. Thou art a belend? I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not really sure. It's a cute pin, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me right now because you know what it means and I don't. But there's the snarky pin. And then I really have to clean some of this up so that I can open up the other things. So give me one second. Find my trash again. It's another one of those things when you move into a new space, is you, everything is not where you're used to it being. Okay, clean up. All right, next up is I picked up these. Ah, and oh, I'm just a hot mess to me. Hot mess. Sorry guys. Okay, I picked up these on Amazon and I thought that these would work with um, like dividers for doing some sticker storage organizing. So I'm only gonna open one of them just to show you. But 
since I've been getting those little inserts from, um, let me see if I can find it. I had it here. What did I do with it? Oh, darn. I stuck it somewhere where I wouldn't forget, and I forgot. Okay, then. I don't know what I did with it. It's not in here. Oh, it's in here. Okay, so I have this one, but this doesn't have any, like, little rings in it to hold this kind of fun stuff right here. So I thought, yeah, that'll work in there. So she has a bunch of these, some little things has a bunch of these on her website, and they're not super expensive. And if you're um, subscribed to her monthly, you get them sometimes in the monthly. So I thought these were really, really cute in one of them. So I... And I know it'll fit. Yeah, see? I don't want to pinch my fingers, but yeah. So I thought I could do some sticker organization with these. So I've got like the one big pocket back here and then the smaller pockets in the front with some of her kits. Um, so this is going to be for some little things because this one is really cute too. This is one of the ones that I picked up on her website, but it only has these little half pockets. So you can only put like you know, this, these size kits in it, you can't put anything bigger. So I ended up sticking a pocket, like a little disposable pocket on the end to put all the washi in. See, I've got all the washi in the big stickers. So, um, yeah, I wanted to get something better for that. So that came in a three pack. It was really inexpensive. It was on Amazon. Um, came with a black one, a brown one and a clear one. So these ones I might use for sticker storage for my scripts and stuff, but I don't know yet. I don't know. And then the last thing for this time, for today, which if you don't want to see this, this is just Dash and Diva. So I picked up a bunch of stuff from Dash and Diva because I was running low on nails. It's almost March, which I wanted to get. So I got a whole bunch of different, like nails and then I also wanted to do some of the red therapy so this is for fixing like cuticles and then this one is nail serum so these are like for under nail stuff so I wanted to try these out because um, with all like the moving and paper use and stuff my hands just feel terrible my cuticles look horrible and then I picked up some really really fun nails so we're going to start with this one. So this one was um, like the plaids. They have a couple of them. So I know this is more fall colors. So I might save this maybe for fall. Maybe. Probably not. But this one was definitely spring. Sorry. Just throwing them everywhere. But isn't that cute? Look at those plaid nails. Mm, I love them. And then I also picked up this one <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. Love that. And then I picked up this one here. So I just thought this was really pretty spring colors and it's got the rose gold and the peach. And then this one was another one. This is like confetti. And isn't that cute? The pinks and then this one's got like the gold in the confetti. It's really, really cute. So those are the ones that I picked up. Now, one of the things about um, Dashing Diva is like, you can Google these guys online. I'm not going to leave them linked below because they're really easy to find, but they ship really fast. I ordered these um, day before yesterday and they got here like super, super fast. And these are not for everyone. So if you buy them and they don't work for you, please don't send me angry messages. They don't work for everybody. I think it has to do with how much nail prep you do. So if you follow the nail prep thing, it might work better, but I've got friends that have bought these that have done the nail prep, done all the extra steps and they still don't stick to their nails. I don't know why. Maybe it's the shape of their nails. I have no idea. They work great for me and I have little tricks to keep them lasting longer that I use. Like if one pops off, one random one pops off during the week, I will just stick one little piece of nail glue, like one little drop of nail glue on there and stick it right back on. And these are not glue. So these are like sticky back on them. So they're really sticky, but they don't last forever, obviously. You know, they start to wear down just like any other acrylic type nail that you put on. But there are little tricks to make them lasting longer and nail prep is key. So if you order them, don't get mad at me if they don't work because there are some people that they don't work for. Anyway, that's it for this part of the haul and I'll be back in a few with the next part.
Okay, so next up I have a few shops that came in and I have like a little pile going here. So I'm gonna kind of set everything off to the side. I also got my Lit Joy subscription. So I know that my Harry Potter fans on here sometimes want to see what's in here. So I will leave this for the last part of this section of the haul. So if you don't want to see it, um, you don't have to, but I'll set that off to the side and we'll go through the planner goodies. So I have a couple of shops here. Let me get my sleeves under control so you don't, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I've got a couple few shops here. Um, and since I've kind of opened some things because I needed to use them for other videos, but I haven't actually put anything away yet so that I can share it with you. Let me get rid of those and that one and this one. And we're going to start with Caffeine Queens. Yes. Okay. We're going to start with Caffeine Queens. So this is what little container it comes in and it's super cute. Look at this happy mail and the little description of it. I love her packaging. Love, love, love her packaging. And then you always get a little cookie. And then this came in it. So I'm going to pick this whole little pile up so I can do it this way so I can get nice and close. So you got this little Coffee Queens crossword and it's got like a cross and down. It's just an actual crossword. And on the other side is the answers just in case. It's a really cute idea. Then let me go through like the freebies first and the things that I ordered. So you've got, these are the freebies from the TPCL. So you've got game night on here. Then this, I love these. Love, love, love these. These are so stinking cute. There we go. <laughs> Still more TPC freebie stuff. So you've got all coffee related. It's very adorable. Here's another one. These are check boxes, in case you can't figure it out, there's three of them. It's hard to see the cut lines, but yep, those are check boxes, which are adorable. A little half box here and another one of the cards. Then I ordered these because I wanted them. So I got the idea of wanting these from um, Tanya at DB Sticker Co. because she uses them all the time. She's got an entire book full of these things, and I thought these were really, really cute. And so Caffeine Queens has these, and I absolutely love them. I got them in pastel, and it's just highlight of the day. And so these, a whole bunch of these, and I'm going to start using these in my planners because I think this is a fantastic idea. Thank you, Tanya. Then I got the April monthly kit, and it comes with these two pages here. That's very, very pretty. Very pretty. I love the blossoms. It's so, so, oh, I love this. And this is the April one. So I'll set that off to the side, put all my little freebies off to the side and then this is the kit that I got and this is one of the ones that I showed in my um, monthly lineup for the month of March so this is the one that I'm going to use for little Raina's birthday and this is called diddle hey diddle diddle if I can get it apart so here are all of your full boxes absolutely beautiful I love it got some little quarter boxes down here at the bottom I love this double box with the barn oh this is so stinking cute I love this so much I'm very excited tons and tons and tons of these gotta do's it and agendas and this week's and oh, um, chores I love that nom 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 it's fantastic some half boxes some glitter paint swatches look at this bottom washi is that not just I love this music notes across the top it's absolutely fantastic then you've got a whole bunch of like your weekends and your nopes and the coffee times and it's really, really cute half boxes, paint swatches, quarter boxes and flags. And then you've got your check boxes on this one. So I am going to pull in, like I said, in that video where I showed my March, um, I will probably have to pull in just a few functionals, but these colors are pretty easy to match. So lots of pinks, purples and blues. So I'm sure I have plenty of that in my stash. So that is everything that I picked up from Caffeine Queens. Now I'm going to move on to, oh, this is so awesome. I can't wait to show you this. So Craft Penguin Planner. So here's the stuff that came for freebies, a little holographic sorry, not sorry. I love that. Know exactly where that's going. I have a printer that gives me trouble. <laughs> so that's going on trouble. Then here is Waddle Member Freebie. So this is if you're a part of the Facebook group, you get this freebie here. And it is stinking adorable. I love that. Here is the February TPC exclusive sampler. This is so nice. So you know that the theme for February TPC was game night. So this is, you're going to see a lot of game night themed stuff when it comes to um, the TPC sale. This is really cute. Like it's a little Tetris. I like this a lot. Another freebie. And then I ordered all of these um, foils, which is the game night one. So these are like, I kind of a la carte them. So here are all like, and this is in the rainbow like a 
uh, hopefully you can see the rainbow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But let's play. So this is all like little icons. There's a, a full box overlay right here. And then these are like headers right here. Fantastic. And then this is all dividers and all rainbow. This is washi overlay with the game over. So I thought at first I was going to use this with uh, Plants vs. Zombies, but then I decided I think what I'm going to use this for is Mario. So I'm going to use this for the Mario kit. And then these are underlay boxes. So there are eight underlays in the rainbow. And it's fantastic. Love it. Then this is a big thing. So this is basically the entire wacky holidays for January all the way through the entire year. So I have an entire year of wacky holidays and I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to put these in my planner. So obviously I can't start until March, but I'm gonna save the other ones for next year because it's not like it changes. So at least I don't think it changes. I don't know, it might change. I might have to go back and I'll double check. I'll double check and see, but it says dates can vary from one year to the next for some wacky holidays, but that's okay. I'm only into March, so we can continue out the rest of the year. <laughs> National Dress Up Your Pet Day. I love these. So this is an entire year, and this had to have taken her forever to put together, but it is fantastic and totally worth it. So I'm going to go to March and just show you a couple of the ones in March, but National Pig Day, National Ravioli Day, and it tells you the date, the 6th, 7th. So the thing is, is that what's awesome about these, so just to let you know, if you're looking for wacky holidays, you need to go to Crap Penguin Planner because what she did was, she's got the number there, so it tells you like National Pig Day is on the 1st of March, which I'm going to put that in my planner like right now because tomorrow's the 1st as of when I am filming this, um, but it's not a part of the sticker. So if for some reason, like say you were to pick this up now or next month or whatever, these can change, but you can still use it. So Polar Bear Plunge Day, it may be the 1st of January in 2022. What if it's like the 3rd of January in 2023? It doesn't say that there. So you can just look on the internet and see what day it is. You can still use the icon because the number is not attached to the icon. So it's fantastic. Absolutely perfect. She did a phenomenal job on these. I'm very, very excited. And I just wanted to show them to you guys because I think they're fantastic. So head over to Craft Penguin Planner and pick these up because these are awesome. Next up is Itty Bitty Sticker Bill. I got my matching. So you got. I showed you the washi earlier, I think in this video. I believe it was in this video. I showed you the washi and this is the kit. So I needed to pick up the kit because I don't know why, but I picked up the washi and I didn't pick up the kit. So there's a couple freebies that came in here. So here is one freebie here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this is like her little leprechaun, Molly. Then the thank you card. And then this is a freebie from... Um, Planning with Manny. And then this is the kit. So <laughs> this is so stinking cute and it totally matches the washi. All hand drawn stuff and this is her cat Molly. This is her little floof ball. These are so cute. Look at him. Little bowl of fruit mollies. Cereal molly. Pancake molly. This is adorable. Egg molly. I love this. Love, love, love. Here's your page two. I'm probably too close. Sorry if I am. I don't know where to put this. I'm not sure. Oh, look at the bottom washi with the silverware. Adorable. And your date covers. And then there's a couple pieces of icons. Some paint swatches. This week, next week, some check boxes and glitter. So adorable. So that is the Molly Loves Brunch mini kit. That's what it's called if you're looking for that one. And it does have washi to match if you want to pick up a washi roll. So now I'm going to go on to, what is this one? I don't know. Hold on. Can't tell from just looking at the outside. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what this is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is Crafty Bee Designs. This is that kit. I could not wait to get my hands on this kit. When I saw it um, shown on the TPC, like the... The one that Caitlin does to kind of like showcase the, some of her favorites from the sale. I had to have it. Had to, had to have it. Oh, oops. I got stuff falling out everywhere. There's a little, there's some freebies in here. Okay, so <laughs> that's cute. Little ghost. That's a freebie. Then there's some date covers here. Quarter inch dots. Then this is the TPC freebie. 
And then this is the kit. It's just a little mini kit. And I wanted it for one of the daily spreads for actually going to use this on the 17th for the daily spread. And it's so it's a really tiny little kit, but it's fantastic. Look at this. How stinking cute it is. May your troubles blip. <laughs> May your troubles be less and your bliss blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through the door. Lucky. I love him. I just think he's stinking adorable. And then the washi and your date covers. And then there's some um, deco with him. Isn't he just the stinking cutest thing ever? So this one is from Crafty Bee Designs. And I just had to have that. Had to have it. So I have that now for my daily one of my daily spreads. And then this is just a little freebie pack, which I'll show you what's in it. Um, not sure... I don't remember if I, I don't think I swapped. I'm not sure if I swapped with her, but this is nice because uh, there's some in here. So this is planning in blue jeans freebie for TPC. I like that weekend banner. It's got like all the gaming icons in it. It's really cute. There's a bunch of gaming stuff here. Nerds the word. This Siri May. Ink paper plan. Ooh, this is a nice one. Little foiled one. Avalon and Ninth. A novel plan. Tiny little tulip. Sprouted paper co. And sugary gal shop. So there's all of those. Those are the freebies. So that's like a shop swap bag. Then the last thing I got that's planner stuff is from. This one is from Penny Pages. I picked up um, kits from oops, <laughs> kits from Penny Pages. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. So let me get my receipt out. And what I, I don't even remember what I picked up. I just saw these. Oh, I know. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, oops, oops, oops. Look at how cute that card is. It's a coloring card, like a collector card, so you can color it in. And I have alcohol markers, which probably work best on this, but I, I could totally color it in if I wanted to. Um, I might, because I think that's cute. And then freebie with the game night stuff. And another game night freebie. So this is the TPC freebies. And then I picked up this kit. So another hand-drawn art kit. And this is Penny Pages. And this one is called Lucky. So all your full boxes. Your dividers and your washi, adorable. And these are um, date covers and your half boxes and your quarter boxes. And more half boxes and quarter boxes. So this one has a lot in it. I may not have to pull anything in to use this kit. I like this size. It's, um, this would be work, work good for the TPC page. If you have the um, TPC planner. So I will probably pull this one into the TPC planner. Super cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's all of the kits that I have so far. Let me put that aside. Oh my gosh, a little pile to put away later. And we can get on with this. So now I'm going to start with the LitJoy subscription. So this one is called Legends and Lore. So this is um, the Pavlo Brothers, uh, and it's is like the Deathly Hollows box. Um, I did see some sneaks for it. I wasn't super impressed, but... I don't know. I have high, I have very high expectations for my Harry Potter collectibles. And so when the boxes don't always meet my expectations, I get a little bit sad. But then every once in a while, they do one that like hits it out of the park. Absolutely like floors me. And that keeps me subscribed. So even though sometimes it's a miss, a lot of times they, there'll be at least one or two things in here that I'm just like, oh my God, I love this. But, um, and it keeps me subscribed. And it's a, a Four times a year is when I get this. So this is like the little menu that tells you everything that's in it. I'll put that one off to the side and then we'll start opening some stuff up. So the first thing that we have here looks like Chamber of Secrets. It's got the, the serpents. Let's open it and see. I think it's like just like a diary or a journal of some, tor of some sort. Um, it's very nice. Look at that. It's like a raised... I like this. This is going to look really good on my Harry Potter shelf. Oops. Trash. So you can see it's got like the gems for the eyes. Hopefully you can see that. And then it's got a book, a little book thing at the at the bottom. And then when you open it up. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> that is cool. You see that? So the chamber has been open. Enemy of the heirs beware. I like this. It's got like little drippings for the for the lines to write in. So this is a nice little journal. I like this a lot. I will not write in it, but I will put it up on my shelf and I really like it. I like the eyes and, and it's a raised cover. It's very, very pretty. That's very pretty. I like that. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next is, let's try this box. I know it's in the box already, but you don't. So <laughs> it's a little box. It's got a little bow on it. I like the box, but inside there is the Philosopher's Stone and it just sits in there with this like stuff. I don't know. It's supposed to be like a silky looking thing and it just sits inside the box. So that's that. Not my favorite thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Then what's in here? Let's see. That was a weird noise. Sorry. Okay. Come on. Open. Oh, it's a mug. Let's see. Let's see. I have no idea what they're barking at. Ooh, this is nice. Look, it's got the shrieking shack. It's got prawns, pad foot, and lupin, and the whomping willow. And then, oh, that is so awesome, the castle and all of them together. That is awesome. I love this cup. This is my favorite thing so far. I love, love, love this cup. It is absolutely fantastic. Yes, I love that. So it's got all four of them together. So this is all of them, not in their animal forms. Except, oh, oh there he is. <laughs> I couldn't, you can see him. There he is, Scabbers. That is cool. I love this. This is awesome. Very nice. And it's Lit Joy Magical Collection on the bottom. It's a very nice cup. I like that. Okay, what's next? Let's go with this big box. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? I think this is book. Yep, these are bookends. Oh, that's not. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh. See, if they had sneaked these things, I would have been a lot more excited. But the things that they sneaked was like this Philosopher's Stone, which I was like, nah, I'm not. I'm not okay with that. But this, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love this. Look at this. Here's the Deathly Hallows. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is awesome. They're metal. You hear clink, clink, clink. And these are book, like bookends. This is going to be awesome. So I'm going to put these up on my shelf with my Harry Potter, my hardcover Harry Potter books in them. Mm. I love this. Good job. Good job. Fantastic. Those are awesome. Next is, what's this? Oh, look at that. Advanced potion making. The box is awesome. This is really cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, don't fall apart, box. That'll make me sad. Look at how pretty that picture is. Wow. It looks almost like a circus, but I'm guessing that this is somewhere in the castle. I'm trying to figure out where this would be from. Hmm, I'm not sure. But I think this is a puzzle. Yep, I think this is a puzzle. Hold on. Let me set that down. Yeah, it is. That's a puzzle. It must make that picture up there. Yeah, here's the puzzle inside this bag. So that's cool. That makes a really cool picture. I don't know what I'll do with it. There was a time when I would think, oh, I'll put it together and then I'll frame it. But I have so many things that are like actual collectibles on my walls now. I don't think I'll be framing any puzzles. But this is a really cool case too. So this is definitely going to go up on my shelf. So we'll see. My husband and I might put that puzzle together though. Because every once in a while we like to sit down and put down and put, put together puzzles. Ooh, these are nice. I'm like a squirrel. 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 Here's the box. So this is that. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels 
so soft. It is like so soft. And it's like the new way that the prints are coming from LitJoy and like your, so when they send bookmarks and things like that, it's this new, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. The feel of it is like silk. It is so soft. It is so, so soft. I love this. So I'm definitely going to frame that. I love that picture. Then <laughs> that's cool. Um, Oh, nice. It's actually like their card. So Gellard, Gellard Grindelwald. And then on the back, his description, best known for strengths, weaknesses. This is awesome. And then this one is Nicholas Flamel. And he's got his stone. And that's the same thing. So these are like collector cards that you can also frame and put, put into frames. And I'll probably do that because these are really, again, super vibrant colors. Very, very pretty and very soft. Very, very soft. So these are the prints that came in it. And then when you go through the little menu to see what comes in your... So this is Tales of Beetle the Bard. And then this is like the menu. So here is about the Shrieking Shack Whomping Willow Mug. So we, I showed you that one. You get the Tale of the Three Brothers in the um, bookmark, the bookends. Chamber of Secrets Notebook. Adventure cards. That's what they're calling those cards, adventure cards. And then there's just like information about some of the other stuff. And then next, they give you like a sneak of what's going to be next month. So if this is something that you guys are interested in and you like it, you can go over to LitJoy and subscribe. The next one is going to be Wizard Tournaments. And look at that artwork. It's already gorgeous. So obviously this is going to have something to do with um, the Triwizard Tournament. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So yeah, I like this. I really do. The only thing that I'm not super thrilled with is this. Other than that, it's totally, totally a hit. Love it. So um, yep, be back in a few with just the last bit of the haul and then I will load this up so y'all can see it. Hello and welcome back to the last part of the haul for the month of February. So I have here a bunch of things. I do have a couple things that haven't come yet, but I think I'm just going to add those into the March haul. So I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to start with my Simply Gilded box. I put a little thing over this because this is the tag, but I wanted to show you the box. So you, most people who know Simply Gilded know that they changed their format, they changed their kit thing. There's no longer like these separate subscriptions. You can only get the box, I believe. That's all I could find online. And I used to get the washi only subscription. I used to get the whole thing before that. Um, and but I need the washi. I really love it. And this is how you get it. It comes in this um, box now, which is a monthly subscription, and it's just one single price. And there isn't like the options for like kit only or washi only or full sub. So this is what you get now. And the box is gorgeous. And I love the addition of the box because the packaging every time stuff would come in the packaging it would be all smushed and you couldn't really use the stuff and look at this it is so so gorgeous i love this so this month is a, like a cafe themed this is your postcard it's fantastic it's got the gold foiling i love this it's beautiful it's going to go in one of my frames and go up in my office because i just think this is absolutely gorgeous i love this so there's that then inside the box you got these little wiggly woos in here then you get this, which it looks like it's just like a little notepad, and it's inside of this. I'm going to leave it in there, but you can see the gold foiling all the way around, and it's just like a little sticky notepad. Nope, it might not even be sticky notes. No, it's not sticky, I don't think. Let me just, no, it's not sticky, it's just a notepad. But isn't that pretty? It's so dainty. It's very beautiful. So you got that. I brought my trash can over here this time in the hopes that I wouldn't have wiggly woos everywhere then the washi comes in this box which I'll save that for last then you get a pen because you have to get a pen from Simply Gilded and this is the pen this month and it's really pretty floral very spring with the greens and the pinks and the really pretty blues and then it is a gel pen so you can replace the inside you just unscrew this guy and you replace the the bits on the inside but this is the simply gilded pen and it's got the little bow on top sorry if you can hear that noise it's probably the heater just came on 
and that's like vent is literally right above my camera. Okay, put this off to the side. Dump out all the little wigglies. So this is the sticker kit now. So this is a new format of sticker kit. So because I stopped getting the full month subscriptions, I haven't gotten a sticker kit from her in a really long time. But um, I will say that I've seen some sneaks about the new format and I really like it. So I will most definitely be using these now in my monthly spreads. So here are, I've been using these on packages when I send out my packages and I have a whole stack of them from having the subscription before and I'm was starting to run low so I'm really excited to get these again. I love these seals, the bow seals. Then these are your numbers, which are really hard to see but they're cut, kiss cut heart numbers in gold and then you've got icons, heart icons at the bottom in gold. The pattern on the background makes it a little bit distracting, so it's a little bit hard to see, but still very usable. Then you've got all your full boxes, so you've got nine full boxes, and then these down here are like dividers, so three, six, nine dividers at the bottom. And it is the gold, I really like this. And then, here's all your functional stuff. I can't really, since this is my first time, here's dividers here in the middle, here's half boxes, quarter boxes, like family work and some bow checklists. Then this one is all flags. It's a whole page of flags, which I don't really use flags that often, but these are kind of cute. I might try these out. And then some smaller flags and some deco. And oh, look at there's tiny bows. I love those. And then this page is three sets of date covers, which you don't get enough stickers to go through three sets of these, but they're pretty. And these ones are plain enough. So you've got one that's kind of patterned that would have to go with this, but these are just green and like this really dark um, muted gray. Those you could use with anything. You could just pull those into any spread that you wanted to. Those are definitely not, oh, there's even more. <laughs> so down here, there's more days of the week. So there's a lot of days of the week on here. So you could, Theoretically, you could really stock up your your extras with that. Definitely not enough stuff in this kit to do this many this many weeks. But some more half boxes, and then this is like the meeting appointment, important goals, that kind of stuff. It's really hard to see with the foiling, but it's a very nice kit. I really like that. I'm kind of excited to try it out and see how it how my spread turns out. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and show you the washi. So. This time I did really good. So the washi comes in this box and it's adorable. I like the way that it's packaged. It looks fantastic. Definitely matches the entire kit. This is gorgeous, by the way. Like this whole presentation like is very, very pleasing to look at. It's very, very pretty. So here's all the washies. They come inside of the box. They are normally have the wrapping on them, but I unwrapped them all so that I could swatch them out for you. So this one is like a scallop pattern. And then you've got the floral with the gold. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'll show you the page with it all swatched out. Then this one is like a dinner, it has like dinner plates and then some of the stuff in here is foiled gold, which I know that this is gonna get mad and try to, it's really pretty. It doesn't wanna focus. And then you've got your two smaller rolls. And then this one is the beautiful, like the downtown, like landscape with all of the shops and it's got the gold accents in the windows and on the trim of each one of the buildings but I'll show you that right now swatched out I'll put it here <laughs> so here they are is a nice close-up of everything and then see if I can move it around so you can see where all the gold is if you can hear it the dogs are playing they pick like the worst times to play like right when I turn on my camera they all start chasing each other there's that very very beautiful so I'm very happy with my new slash re <laughs> renewed um, subscription with Simply Gilded. So that's that. And then I'm going to show you the Avalon and Ninth. So Avalon and Ninth, this is the monthly subscription for March. So hmm, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to save this for the March. Yeah, I'm going to save this for March because it is the March mystery. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen. You know, for people who haven't gotten theirs yet. And um, yeah, I'm going to save that one. Sorry, little little false start there. This is from Tilly B Plans. So this is one of the things that I didn't order a lot this time from um, the TPC sale, not like I usually do. I'm still waiting on another order from Amanda. She has my, um, so I have a planner 
So I had to restock my planner. Can you believe it? It's almost been, it's almost over. Like there's only a couple more months left in my Avalon and Ninth planner. So I did that, restocked it, and I'm waiting on that. And then I ordered a couple of like standalone kits and some of the new, there it is, some of the new um, little character sheets that she has. So I picked this one up and it's too late now to use it for Valentine's Day, but I will most definitely be saving it for next year because it is, it's just fantastic and so I have to I, and I don't mind it doesn't ever ever bothers me to save things for next year because I I just love this so this is the bonus sheet look at all this washi at the bottom it's stinking adorable and then you've got all of your little doodle boxes fantastic here is your first page with your nine full boxes this one's called puppy love and it's adorable here is all of your functional and checkbox to do's and odds and ends and today's I love Tilly's I love Elizabeth I shouldn't say Tilly I love Elizabeth's format and her style is just fantastic these are dividers like different size dividers and then your washi oh washi oh my gosh she's so stinking cute your date covers yes little things and that's the last page. So that one is called Puppy Love, and that one is from Tilly B Plans. Super, super cute. Ah! Oh, man, down. Washi just went crazy. It went flying. So this one is, you can tell, just by this little sticker on the back, because this is my Scribble Prints Go. So I ordered during her last, last sale. I don't even know if I ordered these on sale. These might have been just a straight up purchase without there being a sale going on because these aren't new. I don't think this is a new kit. I don't know. I just recently kind of got into Scroll Prince Co. So, um, yeah. Let me tell you. Kind of obsessed at the moment. So, I have no idea what this is. So, I don't know how their things normally come. But this is what I ordered, so let me put what I ordered off to the side and then open up all these little extras right here because I don't know what this stuff is. So it looks like this one is, ooh, Harry Potter. So this is the Harry Potter um, overlays. I, I may have ordered that because <laughs> I did order, that's what this whole entire kit is, Harry Potter. Actually, I did it because mine is right here. Okay, so that's an extra. These are quotes from the movie. I love that. Then I think this is like just like a little extra grab bag or freebie bag. So there's a white bow. There's a washi card, green on one side and kind of this purplish color on the other. The year is yours. These are some little emotes, Scribble Prince Co. Ooh, little bows in the same foil as what I ordered everything in. Some little extras, the florals. I don't know what I would do with fan box three from this is a Christmas kit because I didn't order anything Christmas, but that's okay. I'll put it aside. I might order something later that that would go with, or I'll put it in a de stash pile. Who knows? Who knows? These are what I actually ordered. So we've got all of the, let me flip it over like this. The houses in a gold, um, sorry, silver hollow, Gryffindor, Slyther Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Then I ordered the little icons in all the colors and then more icons like all the little little pieces to the hat and the key and the, <laughs> the scabbers really cute and then this is the fam six box that I ordered in Ravenclaw because that's my house then 15 millimeter washi because I ordered the yeah, I did it. I ordered the foil. Like, I need any more foil, but this is specific to Harry Potter, so it's got, like, all the little Harry Potter symbols on it, which is why I ordered it. I could have pulled in hollow foil from my stash, but I wanted this because it's, it's Harry Potter. So here is the double box. I think that's the freebie, the freebie double box. Beautiful. Here are all of your full boxes. So this was called Aloamora. Look at him, he's so cute. McGonagall. I love this. Two more extra boxes. Dark Arts Defense. <laughs> That's cute. And then your functionals. Deco's adorable. All of the colors that you get 
it's a very kind of neutrally pa um, palette for this kit, which is why I thought the silver hollow would go really well with it. Gold would have gone well as well. But you guys know Scribble Prints format probably better than I do, and I really like the washi. I think it's really, really cute with all the acceptance letters and the date covers. So there is the kit, a little Harry Potter splurge, and then this is the foil. The foil is really, really cute. Very on theme for this. So here are your overlay boxes and your dividers. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love that. You got nine and three quarters in Harry Potter's face. And it's just really, really cute. You got two of those. Underlays is just your normal. Let's see if it picks up. It doesn't really pick up too well, but that's just the silver hollow underlays. Then your functional sheet with all of, oh, these are smaller. I like that. I wish these were a little bit smaller. And then look at this. <laughs> this page just like kills me. I love this. I love the brooms and the broom. There's a broom and a wand in each one of these. So it's very well laid out. It's your numbers and your washi overlay. So super, super pretty. I can't wait to use this. I will be pulling this into one of my monthly for sure plan with these. Then I believe this is the last thing that I have is from Ink Paper Plan. I just ordered one, I think one thing from Ink Paper Plan. So let me get it out of the box. Oh, there's some extras in here. This is the freebie bag, which there's probably stuff in here that I didn't get and show you already. So I will open it up and you can see what came in the swap bag. So when you order, if you order early enough, everybody always swaps. So if you're new to planning, this is your first time seeing something like this, a lot of times ordering early is good because you get the swap stuff. So it's like just little little things from the shops that participated that this person swapped with. So this one is the Ink Paper Plan one. Wonder Stickers Co. Sassy Apple Studio. Crafty Bee Designs. And these will all be kind of on theme for what the theme of the, and it was game night for that month. This one is Pretty Cute Planner. This is <laughs> Planner with Manny. I got that kit. Saw it earlier. This one's Nerds the Word. Everything is fine. This one, that that's like, goes in my planner a lot. And ooh, Ink Paper Plan. Look at this one. That's very, very, very pretty. And I have a kit that's Mario, so this will go perfect with my Mario kit. So there are the swap bag freebies. And then this is the kit that I ordered. There was another one of those ones that I saw during the, um, where she, uh, yeah, I can think. Caitlin, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> where Caitlin shows off the kits from the shops that are participating in that month's sale. And this is one of the ones that I saw. And even though this is like a traumatic thing for my childhood because my mom would never let me win, but we played it all the time, I had to have it because, I, and I'm actually thinking I'm gonna use it when they come out because they're coming out in April. So I'm gonna use this in April as one of my spreads for the week that they come out to visit. They're coming out for like seven days. So, so cute. I love all the foil in here. This one just has like overlay throughout the whole thing of the foil. And then your, I've never bought from them before. So this is the first time I can't really like tell you too much about the kit other than the foil looks fantastic. The boxes look perfect. Like there's, it's just a really nice kit. Here are all of your like, yeah, these are check, not check boxes, but these are like the boxes you can write in. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm learning right along with you. And then <laughs> the houses, that's funny. And some extra stuff here. So this is a really cute kit. Foiled already for me, so I don't even need foil. So that is it. That is going to conclude the haul for the month of, well, this was for the month of February. I've already started kind of picking some stuff up. Obviously you kind of saw a sneak of the Avalon and Ninth, but I'm gonna save that one because um, like I said, it's still, it's just now March. And so I don't wanna spoil anything for anybody that's gonna be seeing this soon. And uh, this is just too much stuff to put on here. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you like everything here in the haul. I will try to link as much as I can in the bottom um, as I go through. And I will see you again real soon with the next haul for, well, actually the next thing you see is going to be a plan with me. So anyway, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.